Herman Cain has now been accused by four different women of sexual harassment. Uh, some have come out publicly. Uh, Sharon uh, Bilek came out. She's the one represented by Gloria Allred, and she said that Herman Cain had uh, invited her to a, a palatial suite at a hotel, as she said it, as she was looking for another job with the National Restaurant Association. She'd been there before, but she had been let go. He said, if you want the job, according to her account, uh, you know what to do, and he apparently tried to pesci her, you know, take her head and put it down on his lap, and uh, and go underneath uh, her skirt, which, if those allegations are true, obviously are massively outrageous and would cause his campaign uh, problems, uh, which would be incredibly warranted. So uh, there's that person. She was not part of the original settlement. There was two people that the National Restaurant Association, while Herman Cain was the president, settled with, said, okay, we're going to give you money. Okay, because we, we don't want this to go any further. Now, you, some people can justifiably look at that and go, well, they probably had a pretty decent case if they paid out money uh, for these allegations. Or some can say, hey, they just wanted to make the cases go away. Now, we did not know the name of those two people uh, involved, but uh, The Daily has leaked uh, the name of one of them, and it's Karen uh, Kroshauer. And she uh, is apparently a person who now works at the Internal Revenue Service. She's a spokesperson uh, for the, one of the inspector general groups there within that office. Uh, she apparently received a $45,000 settlement, which is obviously sizable. Uh, and this uh, happened back in the late 1990s. She now says that Herman Cain uh, was a monster in how he dealt with her, which again is, of course, a very serious uh, accusation. And uh, now, of course, the smears have begun. Uh, Bilek uh, was the first one that went public, and Herman Cain's group came out immediately, his campaign, saying, oh, you know, she had an issue with paternity lawsuit before, uh, and she's had bankruptcies, and she hasn't been pay able to pay her debts. Now, there's two ways to look at that. One, they're smearing her and saying, ha ha, she had money troubles, so don't believe her, she's poor. Uh, another way to look at that is to say, well, since she had money troubles, maybe she's trying to get money out of Herman Cain, and hence she's doing this, right? Those are the two sides. Now, when it comes to Karen Crushauer, the new person that's been revealed, they say, oh, yeah, immediately, here comes a smear again. Uh, it turns out in another place that she worked, she filed a grievance uh, because she had suffered a serious car accident, and they wouldn't allow her to work uh, from home. Now, what that has to do with sexual harassment, I have no idea. But I guess what they're trying to say is, she's a serial complainer, she gets into serious car accidents, and she complains. She gets sexually harassed, and she complains. <laughs> what a crybaby. Okay, now, they have one other thing. They accused her of, uh, of saying that a manager uh, had circulated a sexually charged email uh, among the staff, and that she was not happy with that. And again, two ways of looking at that. One side saying, how dare she complain about stuff like that. Uh, it, it's just part of the office. The other people saying, well, you, obviously you shouldn't do that, and she's somebody standing up for her rights. So, but it, the overall picture that you get is, they're coming for her. If you do a complaint against Herman Cain, what they're saying is, if you come out publicly, we are gonna scour your records. Any impropriety, oh, you had money trouble, or you filed another complaint at any point in your career. And uh, Crushauer is 55 years old. She's had a long career in government. In fact, she's a lifelong Republican. <laughs> but it, they say, oh, no, this is a grudge against Herman Cain, and it's a Democrat machine. That's what Herman Cain now alleges. Last week, he had alleged that it was Rick Perry's machine who did it. So which one is it? Is it other Republicans coming after you, or is it the liberal Democrats, as you now claim? Well, one thing is for certain. Herman Cain is on the attack, and he says, oh, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, and it's all these women's faults. In fact, let's let uh, Herman Cain explain himself. As they got to the microphone, my first response in my mind and reaction was, I don't even know who this woman is. Secondly, I didn't recognize the name at all. I tried to remember if I recognized her, and I didn't. I tried to remember if I remembered that name, and I didn't. He's referring to Bilek, the one that came out with Gloria Allred, saying, I don't even remember sexually harassing her, but I'm not there, and there's been so many. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> okay. 
Obviously, he didn't say that last part. But uh, remember, in the beginning, when he was asked, hey, there was these two cases where the National Restaurant Association paid out money, settlements, while you were the president of that organization. He said, oh, I don't remember. I don't remember that at all. Now he says, oh, yeah, that was my bad. I totally remembered. In fact, I'd been warning staffers that this might come out. So, yeah, it turns out you were lying, right? So now he says, no, 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 I'm not lying anymore, uh, but I don't remember this lady. All right, how about uh, the others? Now, the Democrat machine in America has brought forth a troubled woman to make false accusations, statements, many of which exceed common sense. And they certainly exceed the standards of decency in America. Wait, Democrat machine, but I thought you said it was Rick Perry. I don't get it. Which one is it? Doesn't matter. It's not me. It's everyone else's fault. It's Rick Perry's fault. It's the Democrats' fault. It's certainly all of these women's fault. And by the way, uh, Crush Hour says, hey, you know what? I want to get all these different women who've done the allegations because they're smearing us. I want to get them all in the same room and present a body of evidence. What did, you do? what did he do to you? What did he do to me? So that you can see it's not just any one of us and that their smears are nonsense that we all had the same treatment, which Herman Cain now just magically, of course, doesn't recollect at all. Uh, in fact, uh, he absolutely rejects them. The charges and the accusations I absolutely reject. They simply didn't happen. They simply did not happen. Oh, well, okay, then that resolves it. <laughs> Look, if I got charged with sexual harassment and my company settled twice, first, I definitely would have remembered. Second of all, you look, it's a crazy world, right? But I would have been very, very reluctant to settle. Because if someone charges me falsely with sexual harassment and I settle, later people will say, why'd you settle? Because it was right, right? I would never want to admit to that. If it was false and out of nowhere, some crazy person says, oh, yeah, yeah, Jenk felt me up. Jesus comes up and says, oh, yeah, Jenk felt me up. Oh, you think I'm settling? <laughs> okay. But Herman Cain says, don't worry. It did not happen. Okay. How about Crusher? You remember her? Let's see. To the best of my recollection, since you mentioned that particular name, that is the one that I recall that filed a complaint, but it was found to be baseless. Let's separate something. The accusations were made of sexual harassment. They were found baseless. There was no legal settlement. There was an agreement between that lady and the National Restaurant Association, and it was treated as a personnel matter because there was no basis to her accusations. Now, this guy's in trouble. Those are man. the facts. Uh, because that's, first of all, that's 90% a lie, okay? Because he says they were found baseless. By whom? You pay she said, he said there was no legal settlement. Do you understand the tricks he's playing? There was no legal settlement. We had an agreement that we paid her $45,000. If they were so baseless, why'd you pay her $45,000? He's, well, we didn't go to court, so there was no legal settlement. Ha ha. They were baseless. No, no. And there's four of them, right? And, and maybe all four are made up. It, it's, it's, it's possible. By the way, there might be more. I, I don't know that. But, uh, but the way that Herman Cain answered the question last week when they said, are there any more allegations, possible allegations out there? He said, not to my knowledge. <laughs> and I said, more is coming. More came. If he did it four times, how many times did he actually do it, right? So as all this piles up, He's in a world of trouble, and at this point, it's not about the sexual harassment claims. He looks like a weasel. I mean, I think even Republicans look at that and go, oh, that guy's lying, man. I mean, oh, come on, you gave her $45,000, but you're telling me, oh, you were positive they were baseless? So now he says, uh, here's what the actual, uh, quote-unquote, sexual harassment was about. I was standing next to Ms. Crowshaw, and I gestured, standing near her like this, you're the same height as my wife. She made her accusations. They were found to be baseless, and she could not find anyone to corroborate her story. Now, you know what? I'm done. Here. End of this. Guilty. 
uh, you know, last week we were having a discussion. It's impossible to know what happened behind the scenes. They settled out of court. And then the new charges, the woman with Gloria Allred had, you know, had some issues. First of all, she's with Gloria Allred, yada, yada, yada. But they're t this guy's a liar, okay? The whole thing with the height. Yeah, oh, I just told her that you're the same height as my wife. And then she charges me with sexual harassment. That story didn't happen. There's no way that happened. That's not what people do. No, you don't say, hey, you're the same height as my wife, and they go uh, file sexual harassment charge. You know how hard it is to file a sexual harassment charge, meaning in your career? Like, she wasn't in any trouble at her career at that point at all. She's got to go and file those charges and endanger her whole career. And she does that because he said you're the same height as my wife? Look, there's a word for it in the English language. It's called bullshit. As far as these accusations causing me to back off and maybe withdraw from this presidential primary race, ain't gonna happen. Until it does.